Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Food Chain TV. Today I went to one of my favorite places, the Asian Grocery Store. I love this place. It has such a variety of beautiful produce. I was blown away by the selection. Look at this mushroom aisle. I mean, look at all these different types of beautiful, delicious mushrooms. You don't see this at your regular grocery store. What caught my eye were these beautiful black mushrooms, also known as shiitake mushrooms. They were just like just ginormous, clean looking, plump, fresh. And I thought, I'm going to take these home and make a nice shiitake mushroom and chili pepper video for you guys. So here we go. Let's get right into this recipe. So check out all the stuff that I brought home. These are the basic ingredients for the stir fry that we're going to put together. We have some Chinese black mushrooms, AKA or otherwise known as shiitake mushrooms. We have some red hot Thai chili peppers, scallions, garlic, and fresh ginger. And what I love about shiitake mushrooms is how incredibly flavorful they are. Okay, if you look at this shiitake mushroom, this thing I would say is maybe 10 times more flavorful than a regular white or brown mushroom. And for mushroom lovers like me, this is a great ingredient to use. For somebody that's just getting into mushrooms or doesn't like overly pungent food, this may not be your thing, but I love shiitake mushrooms. And then look at these beautiful little red chilies. Now, I'm going to leave them whole because I actually don't like food super, super hot. Okay, so I'm just going to leave these whole. I actually like them just for the way they look and the flavor. And when you leave them whole like that, they're just going to add a little bit of spice to the dish. you know. But if you chop them all up, then they're going to definitely spice up this dish. So it's really up to you. Now, these are pretty clean, so I don't think we need to wash them. I definitely don't want to get them wet. We're just going to chop them up. All right, so for these mushrooms, we're just going to cut off the dirty part of the stem, and we're just going to cut them into quarters, just like that. And you can smell these already. There's so much mushroom aroma coming out of these. It's off the charts. Oh my God, so good. Now for the scallions, I want to keep the green parts raw. So we'll save those for garnish. And then this part here, we're going to use that for the stir fry. So we just roughly cut those. And then these parts here, we'll just cut them really nice and fine. And we'll just save those for garnish. These will look great on the finished dish. Okay, we'll slice up some garlic. To peel ginger, here's a cool trick. You just take a spoon and for some reason, unknown to science, this works better than any other tool, works better than a vegetable peeler, works better than a knife, just a spoon. Look at that. Look how easy it is. I hardly have to put any effort behind it. Okay. This way you peel all that skin off of the ginger. Okay. Open it up just like that. And we're just going to do maybe like four slices and then each slice you just cut into little strips oh my god all that smell ginger smells so beautiful and then you cut those strips across into minced ginger okay give it a couple of bonus chops And there we go, minced, minced ginger. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is make a universal stir fry sauce. And guys, you can take note of this sauce because once you make it for this recipe, you can make it for so many different other kinds of stir fries. This is my go-to Chinese stir fry sauce. So we're gonna start with a little bowl. I have about two cups of chicken stock in there. And now we're going to go through the rest of the ingredients that we're going to add to this. So if you have Chinese cooking wine, that's awesome, but most people don't. So I'm going to do dry sherry. I'm going to do maybe like a little ounce. Okay, just a little bit of dry sherry. Next up is oyster sauce or oyster flavored sauce. Okay, I'm going to do a rough tablespoon. Some light soy sauce. Again, I'm going to do... Just, you know, maybe that was probably two tablespoons. A heaping spoonful of sugar. 
and I'll probably do another half because Chinese food is very often a really good balance between sweet and salty. Okay, it's all about balancing flavors. Sweet, salty, sour, umami, all those things. So for this sauce, I really like to make sure that I balance the sweet and the salty. Something that I always think gives Chinese food that quote-unquote Chinese taste for me is toasted sesame oil. Not just regular sesame oil, it has to be toasted sesame oil. To me, it gives it such a beautiful aroma. And that's, as soon as I smell that, I think Chinese food. Now we need something to thicken this sauce. And this sauce is going to be a slurry. Definition of a slurry is a starch with a liquid. Now for uh, Chinese sauces, I love using tapioca starch. You can use cornstarch, but I find that cornstarch actually thickens and then comes apart again. Whereas tapioca starch, once it thickens, it stays thick. Okay, so I'm going to put one spoonful in there and maybe a little tiny bit more. Okay, it doesn't take very much. And that's what's going to thicken the sauce when it gets hot. Okay, nice and easy. I always have these ingredients on hand. So whenever I want to throw a stir fry together, this is my go-to sauce. And you just want to whisk it all up. Okay, we're going to set that aside until it's ready for go time. Okay, so we have our ingredients for the stir fry. Mushrooms, chili peppers, we have scallions and garlic. And we have our minced ginger along with some garnish and we have our sauce. Okay, so let's take this to the wok. Okay guys, so here are the rules for walking or stir frying. Okay, first, make sure your wok is really hot. Second, make sure that you have all your ingredients prepared and ready to go. Third, you gotta keep it moving so it doesn't burn. That's why it's called stir frying. It's not called walk away frying. Okay guys, the wok is nice and hot. I can see a little bit of smoke coming off of it. So we are going to start. We're going to go fast. So please watch this at least one time before you follow along. I have some oil and then we're going to put in the aromatics. So the aromatics are the garlic and the ginger and the scallions. Okay, we're going to sweat those a little bit and we're going to stir fry them so that all that flavor comes right out of them. Same with the chilies. Now I did not cut up the chilies. I did not even crush them because I don't want a lot of heat to come off of them. I want this to be somewhat mild. Okay, so move it, move it, move it. Keep it moving, moving, moving. That way we're not burning it. Okay, always keep it moving. Always keep a stir fry going. Okay, that's gonna take maybe 15 seconds. Just a little bit. Wow, if we had smell-o-vision, if you could smell my kitchen right now, I bet the neighbors are salivating. Woo! There we go. All right. So we'll put in the mushrooms. Okay. All right. Chill out. Man, those chili peppers, they're blistering and releasing water into the oil. That's what's causing all that popping. And we're just going to cook it until these mushrooms get nice and glossy and a little bit soft. Okay. I can hear these mushrooms squealing and squeaking. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water and we'll start steaming them. There we go. See, if you just cook with a little tiny bit of water, it creates all that steam and that really cooks through the mushrooms really fast. As long as your wok stays nice and hot. Okay, see all that water evaporated. The mushrooms are getting glossy, so we'll just do a little, another little shooter. There we go. Let those mushrooms steam. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, see that? Nothing on the bottom of the pan. All that water evaporated because we keep this pan nice and hot. Okay, let's do another third steaming round. There we go. All right, and I'm going to do this a fourth time. So boom, here we go. And what I'm doing here is I'm letting the mushrooms get hot enough so that they release their own water. Okay, if I left them in there with just the oil and the dry hot pan, the other ingredients might have started burning a little bit. So 
by doing these short bursts of steaming, I can safely bring up the temperature of the mushrooms without burning the garlic and without burning the chili peppers or the ginger. Okay, I'm looking at the bottom of the pan. That water is almost gone again. But I can start to feel these mushrooms when I touch them with my spoon getting nice and soft. Okay, that means they're letting go of their own water. And you can see it because you can see all the steam coming off of them. Okay, they're getting that beautiful glossy texture that shiitake mushrooms get. Okay, I'm going to do a fifth little steaming round. There we go. And you see every time that I do those little rounds of steaming, you see the mushrooms get a little more glossy and a little softer. And man, if you could smell this, they're releasing so much aroma. This smells beautiful. Now in total, we've been here for like maybe five minutes or so. So this is not something that takes a very long time. Okay, there we go. The bottom of the pan is dry again. Everything looks nice. Nothing looks or smells burnt. We have this beautiful aroma of mushrooms. I'm keeping everything moving. And these nice little mushrooms are soft and beautiful. I'm going to do a sixth round of steaming. So we're now at like seven minutes. Okay, bottom of the pan is dry. Mushrooms are glossy and soft. Now I'm going to put in the sauce. Now we probably don't need this whole bowl, but I usually make way more than I need just in case. Okay, stir it so that the starch dissipates in there. And now I'm going to add it. Here we go. This is about as much sauce as I want. And you can see right away, as soon as this sauce comes up to the boiling temperature, that tapioca starch sets and everything starts to get nice and thick and glossy. All right, let's take these off the heat and serve them. And look at this guys, a beautiful bowl of beautiful stir fried shiitake mushrooms. Oh man, this goes great over rice. It goes great as a side dish to other Chinese dishes. All right, let's give this a little taste. These, are, these look really hot, but oh my God, do they look beautiful. Shiitake mushrooms have such a beautiful, unique texture. I mean, if you've never had one before, it's hard to describe. They're not like any other mushroom. They're very, very unique and they are absolutely delicious. One of my favorite mushrooms for sure. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments section if you tried this recipe, how you liked it. And because this channel is for you, please make suggestions of other things that you'd like to see on the channel. And uh, I love hearing your comments and I love hearing your suggestions. This channel, after all, is for you. So if you guys help me grow this channel, I'm here to help you by making more videos. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is Christian saying, I'm going to go eat some black Chinese mushrooms. See you guys on the next video.